right we're going to start recording here again this is going to be a video based purely on tips and tricks within phasmophobia if you're newer to the game if you need any help um obviously this is going to be like a bit of a random showcase i don't know the ghost i don't know what i'm going to be presented with i don't know what i'm going up against the only one thing that i do have here is i've hit all so i have absolutely everything with me and i can kind of approach any situation as it goes again this will be on professional difficulty although nightmare is within the game um we kind of covered nightmare issues a little bit later uh, as of right now sub evidence is a little bit harder to distinguish ghosts on so we're going to do professional to try and help people out and we'll see what kind of what happens and what occurs all right so let's just ready up we're going to do willow street house as well just so that i can kind of get in in the house a little bit quicker and still provide evidence and talk about what's going on i don't really need a headset i don't know i don't actually know why i took that but i don't even know why i put it back either it doesn't matter but as fog eh, fog's gonna be a little bit Fog's going to be a little bit of an issue, but hopefully not too, too problematic. Um, it might be more a problem on cameras and so forth. Uh, one of the first things I like to go and do is kind of look for the, the breaker. And I normally bring candles inside. Why do I bring candles inside? Um, because candles are a good way to stop passive sanity drain. So whenever you enter the house, you're always getting passive sanity drain. If you bring a candle, you won't get any passive sanity drain, which means your sanity will always remain 100%, which is really nice. Um, if a ghost does activity, your sanity will drain. So even if I just chill here, even if I stayed here for 10 minutes, my sanity wouldn't drop. Whereas if I switch off my candle, I just heard the ghost. I was going to talk about that in a moment. But if I switch off my candle, or I'll throw my candle down, switch off my candle. Um, if I don't use the candle, then my sanity will slowly drain. Uh, another thing I was going to go and say is whenever you enter houses, whenever you enter buildings, um, try and be a little bit quiet. Turn your volume up. Not too, too loud. You don't need to deafen yourself or get anything else like that. But if you just turn your volume, uh, if you turn your volume up just a little bit, um, you can normally hear them open doors, make moves, like flick switches, drop something, move something. Why is this good? Because on bigger maps as well, if you stand in the middle, you can normally hear if it's in the left-hand side of the the area or if it's in the right hand side of the area this is a good way to stop you wasting time going all the way left or going all the way right for no reason um so that's what i like to go and do i like to kind of be a little bit quiet when i enter buildings and then i just kind of um work with it from there uh bone normally really good just kind of get a three star photo of it again remember photos kind of work as in um you basically want to get within 1.5 meters of taking a photo um, those values may change in the future, but basically best thing's going to do, if you're ever going to take a photo of anything, try to get as possibly close as you can to it, okay? Uh, as close as you possibly can. From there onwards, I just pick it up. So I've just got money for the photo and I've got money for the um, for the, the bone as well. I was just looking for a Ouija board in here. Ouija boards are something that you don't overly need, but again, it's just extra cash. And I heard a door open. So I heard a door open and it was on my left-hand side. So I know it's not this. I know it's not this. Um, it's either this door here or it's a door down there in the basement. Or it's this one. So it could be any of those. When I enter a room, and again, I don't have any major tools on me right now. Uh, but when I enter a room, I basically look around and I pay attention. You see these shoes? Honest to God, this can give it away. This can give the ghost away by paying attention to how the shoes are. Most things in this game are upright. Such is, right? Um, we're going to leave things, most of things kind of tidied and organized so this mobile phone is just about on the edge of the desk but if it was like right here on the edge of the desk then i know a ghost moved it you get the idea so you normally don't want to tamper with too many items as you enter the house um just look in here and here i don't know if i heard something just drop just then but maybe not also because i flicked the uh, switch on uh for did i just hear a door then because i flicked the uh the switch on for the light um the temperature of the building is now going up so the oh my candle went out i was just checking if the ghost blew the candle out there uh, so your candle can go out passively and you that could be the door your candle can go out passively and the ghost can also blow your candle out um so just keep that in mind um if you do oh this light's on i did not turn this light on notice that oh i switched that off this light's on so we've roughly got the ghost room right because i didn't do anything here i look at these cans these cans haven't been touched I look at the hammer the hammer hasn't been touched the pliers there those are the only things in this room i believe that can be moved around so it's, it's a lot of um muscle memory it's a lot of uh just memory in general is what it is and i'm just going to check in here let's go and check the tools on here they have not been moved that's not been moved and those haven't been moved cans down here haven't been moved paintbrush hasn't been moved did i just see freezing there no there's the ouija boards 
Yeah. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm walking backwards on myself. If I walk backwards, look, you'll see freezing breath always. But if I walk forward, forwards now, you won't always see your freezing breath. See that? Now you won't see it as much. But again, if you walk backwards, you'll always see your breath this way. So that's another little tip. If you're ever looking for a freezing inside a room, if you just want to go and jump straight into a room and just walk backwards like this, you can always do that. That's a good method. So again, talk about the Ouija board just earlier. What you can go and do is you can take a, just turn it on, take a photo of it. Make sure you always go and turn it off when you're not using it. Um, so I get a free start for the Ouija boards. Now the Ouija boards, when, um, I don't know if this will ever change in the future, but what you can go and do is just ask it, what room are you in? Where are you? So if I, I can also get a free start interaction photo. I don't really care where it says that it is because I have the room for it anyways. At least I've got freeze in there. From there onwards, I'm just going to drop this here and drop that there. And keep in mind, when you ask uh, a question on the Ouija boards nowadays, it's changing ever so slightly. In the past, you used to go and ask it a question. You wasn't really punished. However, now you ask it a question and it's correct, you will get punished. So if you ask a question on the Ouija board, your sanity on today's update, uh, this is when Nightmare was just slightly released. So... I don't know, 004.0 or something. So my sanity is really low. Now, ghosts hunt on average team sanity. That doesn't mean your sanity, it means average team. So if there was two of us, if I was 100% sanity and someone was zero, oh, that doesn't mean I can just enter the house and I'll be okay. No, it will, it will hunt on average. So because I'm on solo, it doesn't matter. I'm 40%, always take pills. I like to try and make sure I'm roughly around 70% 70, 70 and higher. This way, I pretty much make sure that I'm okay. Those don't really tend to attack that that often. If you're anything above like 70, 75% and higher, there's only a couple ones that are generally quite aggressive. And maybe in the future when they do more distinguishing traits and maybe if they add new ghosts, it will just pay attention to your sanity. But most ghosts, if you're like 80, 90, 100%, they're not going to attack you. So don't panic as much, okay? If you do ever feel like you're a bit lower, again, this is where smudge sticks come in. You can always go ahead and walk around with a smudge stick and it's a good idea to uh, push a ghost off of you. But that's a whole different kind of worms. So don't worry about that. I'm trying not to do the Onryo strat right now. Uh, so crucifix, uh, ghost during the hunt, and EMF. So now that I have a rough idea as to what room I think it's in, I like to go ahead and do placements. You can call this whatever you want to, but the idea is that this is basically evidence that you will leave on the ground and you'll walk away from it. So in this case, things like dots, I'll put it on the ground. I don't need to interact with it again. Odds are I'll just leave it there for a long time and I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, same kind of goes with ghost writing books, same goes with spirit box, whatever. I can kind of leave those things in the room and not have to worry about it too, too much. So uh, since my sanity is pretty good right now, I don't like bringing the torch with me. You can bring torches, that's totally fine. Obviously, if you're newer to the game, I encourage you to. But once you start getting a bit more familiar with the game and a bit more familiar with your layout, if you want to practice doing this, stick to just one map. Just constantly do one map and really pay attention to what's going on around you. Uh, this way you'll kind of learn and believe it or not at one point you won't be running with flashlights at all uh, the only reason why again i take the candle is because of the sanity drain so uh let's go ahead and go dots let's go ghost book and let's go camera so with fog camera can be a little bit annoying looking for ghost orbs uh this might be something that they'll go and change a bit more in the future but we'll see what happens here um but anyways i shouldn't really need to look too too far um ghost orbs can also be a little bit annoying to look for you'll notice like i'm in the garage right now why am i in the garage looking for a ghost orb ghost orbs don't always have to be in the ghost room remember that at least for a quite a while i whether this is intended or unintended again i'm sure i don't know what they're going to do in the future but just keep that in mind sometimes i like to look vertical okay so if there's a floor above the room you see how like the basement kind of comes down at curls left notice that the garage is like right there see how i look for a ghost orb above where it is as well just in case at odds are it won't be anywhere around there. It doesn't go too, too far away from the ghost room. But um, if there is an orb, it's normally quite near. Was that an orb there? Did I just see one or did I see a shine? Oh no, you see the shine on the top of the box there? I just got the shine, I thought it was an orb. So yeah, as you can see, it's really hard to kind of see with the fog in here. Obviously turning your light off can help it a little bit more. Gonna be a little bit hard to go and look for uh, an orb, but we don't, we don't panic, we don't worry. Anyway, so what I'm going to go and do is set up a camera into the room here. As I said, I'm also going to pay attention. Yeah, I've still got breath. 
That's also been thrown on the floor. Do you remember that was on the chair there? That saw is also hanging off the edge of the desk. And as you could have saw earlier, and if you didn't, if you didn't believe me, you can always go back on the video and just double check. Again, this is a good way to go ahead and have a little look. So the cans, one can's been knocked over as well. There was also a paintbrush there. Uh, God knows what is what the ghost has done with it, but the paintbrush is also gone. So I'm going to dot the middle of the room as well. So that's going to be a good way for me to go and look into it. And because I've got the camera placement set up there, it should be all good. I, not, I normally like to do this, and I'll kind of explain this in a bit. So I'm going to put the door close towards the light switch and the door. And you're going to see what I'm going to do here. And hopefully this will help you guys, all right? Now, because we have the evidence, we've got freezing temps, right? If you ever need to go and do EMF, I'm going to show you a little tactic that I like to do with EMF. You don't have to do this. Everybody's got their own different play styles. This is something that I definitely like to do. Whenever I go into a room, especially a much, much bigger room, right? Um, because objects are all over the place, it can normally be a bit annoying. Like, what's that noise? I need to run all the way over there with my EMF out. You're running, you're running. It, you're kind of overworking. So let's be a little bit more efficient. Instead of you going to things, why not bring things to you? So this is what I'm going to end up doing with this. Now that I also feel like I'm pretty certain I have the room, I'm going to bring a crucifix, uh, crucifix here. I'm also going to bring a second crucifix. So ghosts don't always hunt exactly from their room. Sometimes they can hunt just ever so slightly outside their room. And a crucifix only covers an X amount of meters. Again, I'm saying the word X amount because I don't know if they'll change this in the future, but no idea what's going to go on. I've also just realized I was around 75% sanity, wasn't I? So even remembering my previous sanity when I came into the house and plus I was talking in the house, I need to go back to the truck and check my sanity. It should be around, I don't know, 62. I was close, 64. Just muscle memory at this point. So I take the pills again and now I should be okay for a bit. So this will give me more time to talk to you guys, right? <laughs> so um, we're going to run down there. You'll see me use my sprint quite often. I mean, I don't really need my sprint right now. I feel pretty comfortable knowing that I don't have... Um, or I shouldn't at least be attacked anytime soon. Sorry if you don't see much on the screen at the moment. I apologize. Uh, again, I don't really go with my, my torch, my flashlight that often. Uh, even in Asylum. Even in Asylum. <laughs> I still don't do it as often. So what I'm going to go and talk about is the EMF. So what I'm going to go and do here is I'm going to throw the EMF in the corner. I'm going to pick this up and throw it there as well. I'm also just going to put a crucifix one here. And I'm going to put crucifix two here. So this is the second room. So I'm going to try and choke point both of these rooms in case it tries to spawn in these rooms. Keep in mind though, there is a chance that it could spawn here. It could spawn out here. Sometimes that can happen. It's a bit rough. Now what I'm going to go and do is pick up all of this stuff and I'm just going to throw it in the corner. So again, I'm bringing everything that can be moved in the room to me. So when it's going to give me a sign, there is a I don't have the... Do I have the lighter down here? I can't remember if I did. But I think there's something over there, but I think it's a, a paintbrush. I don't think there's anything in this, in this room, if I remind myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to EMF here. Now, if the ghost if the ghost book gets uh, wrote into, the EMF procs the ghost book. At least as of right now, it does. So the ghost book will kind of lift up the ground a little bit, and you'll hear like, like scribbles into the ghost book. If the light switch gets tampered with, hopefully the EMF is in just close enough of a position that if the light switch gets tampered with, the EMF will reach it, right? And if the door gets closed, it should be close enough as well. Every single thing in this room is now all brought together. So if it wants to throw anything, it'll throw all of that or move something, it'll pick it up. If it writes in the book, it'll pick it up. If it closes the door, it'll pick it up. If it does the light switch, it'll pick it up. Something like that. It's a good way to kind of just minimalize everything and stop you from like overworking yourself. Be like, oh, I've heard it move something in the room. I've got to run over here or I heard it move. I've got to run over there. Like, oh, no, I just missed it. Don't do that to yourself. Try and make sure that you, you're spending your time wisely. Um, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. I still haven't seen dots, but again, that's mostly because I've been talking to you guys and not paying too, too much attention. Uh, keep in mind also, I'm just going to walk backwards. Still got frozen breath, no? Okay, we might have a uh, might have a ghost hunt on our hands. So now all of this now means nothing. There's no freezing breath right here, guys. None. So let's go ahead and find it. It's somewhere else. I'm gonna check this room real quick and see how I go in backwards. No, none of that's moved either. So nothing I can do with that. 
so now the ghosts can go ahead and remove rooms every so often and that can just go ahead and happen that's just going to be part of the game i'll turn the lights on for you guys i don't really need it too much so again as i now enter this room see how that shoe is moved away from that shoe if i walk backwards let's see what happens freezing breath look at that didn't even need any tools and i still found out where it was just by paying attention shoes are normally in pairs they're normally coupled up together that one has been moved ever so slightly i don't know if you remember but that one's been moved ever so slightly and i don't know if there's anything else in this room that's been moved out of the way phone hasn't all of that looks good but we got the freezing breath still in here so now i need to bring everything back up over here a bit of a drag is what it is don't worry you'll get used to it such is the game but it's just identifying stuff like this that can make you i can make you a bit more efficient heard on the radio hopefully to translate and tell me to shut up is probably what it did so again, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, placeables and my droppables. I'm going to throw them in the room and then I can kind of move out and do other things. The good thing is as well is that if you set up your camera correctly and if you set up like a crossfire of a camera or anything else like that, see the lights flicker there as well. So I'm going to get the room there. I'm going to do one here. Since this is a... Where's the goddamn radio? Shut up. Shush. Um, since this room's a little bit bigger, I kind of need to um, be a little bit more careful with how I place things, but... Did I just see dots there? Right there. I don't know if I did. Uh, I'm going to put that in this side right here. Let's be sure if I did. Okay. So I'll need to bring a lot more things in here. Um, guys writing books downstairs, right? I don't hear much movement going on. Ghost isn't really temperamental. It's not moving an awful lot of things. I just got to keep that in mind. And hopefully the things that I teach you right now, um, you can take this stuff away with you guys um, in future updates, you know? Uh, unless particular tools uh, interact differently or whatever it may be, um, hopefully you can remember a thing or two because since Phasmophobia has come out and since today, Phasmo has roughly been in the same state with it, so. Try all that there. It did tamper with the, the light a little bit, but it was more of like a flicker than it was anything else. Closing the door just a little bit. Let's go and grab some more items real quick. I'll turn these lights on so you guys can kind of just see a little bit easier for the video. There you go. Right. Um, we don't need a thermometer, so we're all good there. Spirit box would be good as well. Using another dot and another crossfire. So I like to go and always take two cameras to approach a room. Sometimes I put one camera outside of the room. I like to use two different dots as well to really try and help me just get that dots a little bit quicker. Also, since I'm now in here, I can do this as well. So if I wanted to, whilst I'm just waiting in the truck, you see how I can always see dots here now, which is good. There were orbs in this room as well. I would have a very good crossfire, very good angle. Always try and put your cameras uh, in the corners or the sides or whatever of the room. Sometimes I put one in, sometimes I put one out. Sometimes I have them facing each other in different angles or whatever. I always try and cover as much as I possibly can. Again, it's just being as efficient as you can with your placements. Now, since this ghost has roamed a little bit here, using salt as well is not going to be a bad idea. I've just realized. Give me two seconds. Uh, I want to salt with UV. I want to make sure UV's in there. This way I can... Okay, well, it can't be Wraith anyways. Um, so what is something that I like to go ahead and use as a way to find out roughly where it's roaming? You'll see what I do here. I definitely think it's that room. But what I can go and do is if I put a salt here, there are EMFs going off right now, which is great. I put salt there and then the salt here and then one right inside here. Throw that over there. It's an EMF too, so we're okay. Pretty sad it was the light switch that I did there, was it? Oh, we're okay. What you can go ahead and do sometimes, you can go ahead and do this. So you see how like, uh, so sometimes, oh, hang on, this will be perfect. See that? So you see how like the, the, the light from the, was that dots? Almost certain that was dots. If I close the door like this, you see how I can now see if there was a handprint, it would normally be around here or sometimes like here. And if there's a fingerprint, it'll be there. Sometimes now I can have a bit of a crossfire so just from where the UV is, I don't now need to touch the UV. If it touches the door or the light, I can use that stacking from there to go ahead and see here. So even you can just do stuff like that. Again, it helps you. You don't always have to do it. Where are you? I forget the moment. 
Uh, that salt did proc. So that one procs, which is good. Where are you? Um, that one didn't. That one didn't so far. Again, we're going to grab a few more things. I'm pretty certain there's twice that I think I saw dots. I don't see any reason why I'd question myself twice there. I feel like I'm gaslighting myself. I gotta be a little bit careful how I do that. So, uh, let's just continue down here. What do I want to bring in here? Do I need anything else from that? Crucifix? Yeah, crucifix isn't a bad idea. I think I, oh, well, the other ones. Did I bring them both up? No, I think I left one downstairs, didn't I? So, uh, dots on the pavement. I think that's basically about it. Dots on the pavement, right? I can bring another camera anyways. All right, should be good from here. So dots on the pavement there. I'll show you how I would probably set up the crossfire of the cameras. Excuse me, sorry. So I'm just going to double check as well. Go a little bit slower here. I'm almost certain it's not a ghost orb. That's what I mean by cross-firing cameras. See that? Now if I do a dots here as well. Oh, do you know what it is? I think it's my breath that I'm seeing, and that's why I think I'm seeing dots, but... That sucks. Sometimes I know you might be thinking, you know, how do I know I'm not being hunted, or... Um, why would I panic there or anything else like that? The reason why I don't panic there is because I have much higher sanity. The odds of me being hunted and killed in that exact moment, that'd have been, I'd have been, I would have been dead, but I, I would have been like, okay, well, that was a very smaller chance. I didn't panic or anything there. However, because it did do that, Yuri is on the list right now. Jin is on the list right now. There are ghosts currently that have a way to go ahead and drop your sanity quite a fair bit more. What was I? So I think I was around 60, right? And I took uh, I took sanity pills. So I would have been put me up to 80. So if I'm around like 70 now. Potentially. Potentially, potentially. Anyways, let's just continue and try and get some more evidence here. Some traits of ghosts will be something that they'll continue to look into, but this is something that you always want to try and pay attention to. Every ghost is supposed to be unique, and unfortunately, what they have currently written in the books right now, as much as I want to go ahead and compliment them, this doesn't always work. So unfortunately, you can't always just read the book and be like, look, it, it should work exactly like this. This is the only reason why I feel like I can say this at the moment is because I've done a lot of testing. I have a phasmophobia notepad, and I'm quite nerdy, so I like to go and break down the assets of the game how it works how it crosses and so forth also i mean again if it was a yuri i think i turned off the the power completely if it was a yuri there would have been a little bit more chance for it kind of roaming a bit more here that's not proc that's not proc uh, it's making me question just a little bit right where are you how old are you give me a sign gonna do is i'm gonna try and get a bit closer here right that should be good so again once again i'm just gonna check my sanity i just want to go and see how much more i've dropped to so i'm just trying to work with what i've been given right now the idea is i'm trying to play with whatever's good whatever the game's telling me whatever's happening i'm trying to be as reactive as i possibly can 50 so again i might be able to use rule yuri and Jin out at this point so i think i just miscalculated my previous sanity and again sometimes it's a good thing to do don't always bank that you're 100 correct in the game like oh my goodness i i 100 thought i was a yuri or a Jin then well really because the ghost just showed itself then and i didn't drop sanity anywhere near as much and these two do make you drop your sanity quite a fair bit yuri's around like a 14 percent Jin is around a 25 percent but mostly when it uses this ability that's a whole different kind of worms so don't worry about that at this point now that i've got no more sanity pills i'm starting to lean on smudge sticks now so i'm starting to bring this into the house to make sure i'm okay i'll probably go and grab myself a flashlight as well over the games you guys can see that right yeah you guys are fine you still see that so smudge stick is a good way that if the ghost does try to go ahead and attack me now i can always smudge it and try and hide somewhere um, but yeah, the ghost is definitely being a little bit temperamental. I'm just going to go and pick up this crucifix somewhere here. There it is. Camera's there as well. I was going to go and take a photo of the ghost for extra money, extra profit, but I don't really need to. 
No. Did you hear that? Why did one of this light get tampered with? That light in particular. It's this one. No proc, no proc. Interesting. Very interesting. I still got freezing temps. I still do. Where's my EMF? Give me a sign. Where are you? How old are you? Normally asking questions about its location, um, how it is, feelings, emotions, if you want to. Like, are you happy? Normally these are ways going to withdraw responses a little bit better as well, even using its name. Thomas Martin, where are you? That's nice and high. I could hear that. So, that's an EMF there as well. Gin, Shade, Oni, and Twins. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'd almost want to go ahead and rule out Dots now, right? I don't think Dots, and I don't think Ghost Orb at the moment. Are any of these currently Dots and Ghost Orb? Sorry, I just got to double check. Uh, fingerprints. Oh, yeah. Where's my UV? I oh, know it's over there. Give me a sign. What was your one? Shades. Oh, it's writing. Okay, so writing, fingerprints, only dots, and twins. Spirit. Where are you? How old are you? Give me a sign. Very tempting. Very, very, very tempting. Got the pair of shoes over there as well. Why well, doesn't matter? It's EMF five now, so that doesn't really matter too much. Right, we're about to hit that inevitable stage. As I've used all my sanity and whatnot, this is where the clutch moments start to go ahead and uh, hit in. Where are you? Give me a sign. Thomas Martin, give me a sign. Hmm. He definitely gave me a sign there. Let's double check it. What did you hear? Yeah, so I think unfortunately I've reached that stage where it's taken me too long to go and find out what the ghost is, which means we're going to have to rely on sanity right now. I don't know if there's something that I heavily missed there. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. I'm looking at windows and I'm looking at doors to pay attention. It moved another door. Right, I can. I think I can roll a fingerprints here. Give me a sign. Where are you? You can keep the house. Don't worry. I was never here. Let me run towards the door. And now we're out. Okay, so we got the spirit box there right at the end. It was the twins. Um, I wish I had more sanity right now so that I could go ahead and test the twins a bit more here. Um, but ideally, that's kind of the idea. That's, that's hopefully it gives you like a a few things that i was looking towards there uh prevent and escape uh i feel like just for testing purposes i kind of want to keep going but also for the video i kind of want to end uh this is just my channel in a nutshell i always want to end i always want to keep going I'm, I'm just terrible with this right now um but yeah it is the twins that's the main thing twins are supposed to go ahead and kind of mimic each other and they're supposed to attack from different angles and so forth the odds are with the twins and concurrently you're not supposed to see two ghosts at the same time the idea is that you're supposed to go and have one ghost activity somewhere and another ghost activity somewhere so i'd have to go into the house right now on 56 percent sanity i could try just real quick and have a little look to see if you can see some sub evidence here i have got crucifixes in that room but again if it is a twin and if it does work like the way that it says it does it's gonna be a bit rough when it comes to the thermometer as well like i said try and keep the uh, house temperature on 
this way uh, the house warms up but you want to detect lower temperature so obviously all other rooms right now should be nice and warm whereas this room if i just stand even outside and look in look at my thermometer as it drops there you go wow i have not actually seen that one yet that was really cool i have not seen that one concurrently just gonna double check nothing in this room no gonna double check as well oh this was on nope the temperature's telling me look at that 22 degrees nothing in here I may get myself killed for this, but just for the purpose of the video as well, to kind of talk about twins. And I can go back downstairs if you want me to. This way I think I've cleared all rooms, haven't I? This was me leaving this light on, so that way this wasn't the uh, ghost. So there's nothing here. Is there in? Normally give it like a second or two with the temperature. The temp imagine the temperature uh, lagging. Okay, that's how it updates. Imagine it lagging. So you have to stay there just for a little bit and then normally like one or two readings later that's the correct temperature okay so it's none of this down here as you can clearly see the twins currently only hold one room to keep that in mind i think i got the crucifix no it still hasn't done the crucifix yet I'm gonna double check it's not here either it's too warm to be here right now you're normally looking for i don't know definitely like 10 degrees and under for ghost activity and for the ghost room itself you definitely want around like a good four three five kind of six kind of uh, celsius sorry that i don't know what that is in fahrenheit i apologize um to all of the americans out there but yeah i hope this gives you an idea right i think at this point uh, i think it's, it's definitely clear that it's only this room right now do you see what i mean with the twins sometimes uh, a lot of people saying that they can they can have a chance to hold up to two rooms i don't know if that's entirely accurate just for the purpose of this video as well uh keep in mind take whatever you can with like a uh, a grain of uh, a grain of salt as well whoops i was a little bit worried then but you'll saw so i kind of threw my cruise um not my christmas my smudge at the ends um also it doing this right now is lowering my sanity quite significantly so hopefully it'll burn this crucifix is what i'm thinking oh it burned this one perfect and the shower's on yeah you absolutely filthy ghost how's this room looking that emf5 as well this doesn't like me in the house right now i'll be dead honest that's okay i get i get the idea you're good uh should i do, should I do the last one i'll show you how to go and get this one anyways why not if I die, I die. It don't matter, chat, right? Perfect. So I'm just kiting it here. No, we're good so whenever those guys hunts hope happen as well make sure you remain as calm as you possibly can see when the ghost got right towards me there what i did is i led it into an area where i knew i could kite a bit better so i basically led it right around this corner and then as it kind of got towards here there's an opportunity as i smudge it that it could get lot kind of like stuck around here or around the car so i brought it into the garage to try and smudge it in there first and then i basically hid once you go and hide as well try and be quiet as much as you possibly can it can hear your voice it can hear your radio if you're talking on radio if someone's talking to you on radio you're okay but if you're talking on radio or if you're uh, talking through local uh, or if you've got electronics on like flashlights cameras uh ems and if turn it off turn it all off if you want to drop it all that's the better way to go and do it if you're holding it and it's on it will come towards it okay 
so be as quiet as you possibly can as you can now see i've got the ghosts i got all of the evidence i gave you guys some tips and i got everything done on the boards and that's a solo professional hunt for you guys hopefully there's something that you learned here um throughout this video and uh, all i can go and say is that if you guys do like it consider hitting the like button uh, leave me a rating if you don't like it it's okay uh, don't force yourself to go, don't force yourself to go and do anything but if you want to leave a comment any other tips tricks if there's anything in the game that you guys don't understand i can always go and make a video on it um but thank you guys for being here today if you're new to the channel subscribe and you can always go and catch me live on twitch that's twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy should be on the screen somewhere but thank you guys for watching the video i appreciate it i'll see you guys later as well let's just make sure we have got the right guys before i go and wrap it all up as well thomas martin Otherwise, I think it was a good run. I think it was a good run. So I'm reading my Twitch chat as well right now. So um, there you go. Yeah, it was a good run. $210 like dollars as well. Got quite a few photos in there, which was really nice. But it was a good run. But yeah, again, hopefully that helped you guys. Thank you guys for being here today. I appreciate it. Look after yourself. And I'll catch you guys again in the next video. Yeah.